Coming up on this week's episode, Flight School Promotion received its first Sonaka 200 Trainer Pro. Also, Microsoft Flight Sim adds Volocopter Volocity and International Test Pilot School nets Turkish training contract. Welcome to Airborne Flight Training. This is a weekly program dedicated to all things flight training from future pilots, current pilots, and to anyone interested in the aviation world. Thank you for joining us. I'm your host, Kimberly Kay. New to the pilot training sector in Belgium, Flight School Promotion is a branch of skydiving promotion which has been operating in commercial aviation for over 30 years. Based at Spot Airfield, the school provides students and pilots with a hangar, a flight preparation room, and a classroom that can accommodate around 15 students for theoretical lessons. In November, the school will receive its first Sonaka 200 Trainer Pro. The Sonaka 200 Trainer Pro is the glass cockpit version of their two-seater low-wing aircraft with an all-metal structure and a 750 kilogram maximum takeoff weight. We choose an aircraft developed and assembled in Belgium, an aircraft with low consumption, less noise, and equipped with modern and certified instruments, said the company. In December, January, and February, Flight School Promotion will place its first Sonaka 200 Trainer Pro in Avignon for three months. Several one-week intensive flight sessions are planned to allow its students to make progress with their training, as well as those interested to start their training to become a private pilot. We have more news after the break. There's a difference between charting a steady course and pushing for the ceiling. And for nearly a century, Hartzell Propeller has been defining that difference. It's in our passion for engineering and research and our dedication to testing the limits of performance. We are built on honor. We are Hartzell Propeller. During this season of Thanksgiving, you're probably appreciating the rebound of aviation after the tough times of the last couple of years. To help share that joy and that energy with you, you'll save 21% on all King Schools courses now through December 2nd. Just use the code word PUMPKIN at checkout. So happy holidays, and we hope to see you soon at, at the, the airport. airport. If it looks good, it usually flies good. The Bristel series of aircraft is proof of that. Furthering their legacy of safety and efficiency, Bristel is proud to feature the Rotax 915 IS Turbo in the current lineup of aircraft. The 915 IS Turbo power plant offers more power than ever before in a light sport aircraft. Learn more about Bristel at www.sportflyingusa.com. Welcome back with so much news coming out of the flight training industry. We're going to be summarizing some shorter stories in this brief segment we call Around the Patch. The Air Force has extended the deadline for airmen applying for the rated prep program until December 31st. Active duty Air Force officers and enlisted personnel interested in becoming rated officers have until December 31st to apply for the spring 2022 Air Force rated preparatory program scheduled for March 20th until the 25th of next year and March 27th until April 1st in Denton, Texas. U.S. Air Force rated career fields consist of pilots, combat system officers, air battle managers, and remotely piloted aircraft pilots. Belgian developer Lugo Studios has released the newest addition to its liftoff series of quad rotor drone flight simulators. Liftoff micro drones, drone pilots wistfully imagining a cannonball run throughout their home will find the game's playable, realistic housing equipment and lay out a fine analog to their real life decor endangerment. With multiple environments, from a neon-lit drone racetrack, a well-dressed home, and a warehouse full of stacked boxes and shelving, pilots will find a suitable simulation to practice their FPV flight skills. The FAA has launched its 12 Days of Drones campaign to educate the public about the best practices inherent to the hobby. While drones have settled into a somewhat common and well-understood hobbyist aircraft or videography assistant, 
public understanding and familiarity with UAB regulations remains lower than desired. The agency will share a specific topic or bundle of knowledge for each of the 12 days from December 2nd until the 17th, building a short and effective knowledge base for incoming drone pilots. The Registry of Aruba, an all-in-one Category 1 aircraft registry service for privacy-minded operators, has established a scholarship program in their name in conjunction with Embry-Riddle Aeronautical University. The initiative is geared towards girls who wish to pursue programs in aviation at ERAU's Daytona Beach campus, with $6,000 awarded to a successful freshman every year throughout her time at the College of Aviation. Well, that does it for today's trip around the patch. Now let's return to the rest of the news. The Volocopter Volocity eVTOL aircraft has been officially added to the roster of Microsoft Flight Simulator 2020, granted through the application Sim Update 7. The 33.4 gigabyte update added the first vertical takeoff and rotorcraft to the game as part of a joint effort with Volocopter as a multifunction advertisement update and training tool. The downloadable content is the result of the company working with nonprofit Urban Movement Labs, an organization dedicated to the rollout of new advanced air mobility tech throughout Los Angeles. The partnership will move to network with the necessary interest groups to roll out needed infrastructure throughout the valley, a location that some say desperately needs the benefits of the eVTOL taxi. Volocopter has had a busy year conducting the first crewed flight of the aircraft's type in the USA, while building relationships with the essential movers and shakers in the community to get their Volo City off the ground and in service as soon as possible. The inclusion of the aircraft will show legions of aviation enthusiasts how far the market has evolved, allowing them to conduct their own practice and leisure flights around scenic landmarks in any of the beautifully rendered locations in Microsoft flight sim. We have more news after the break. At Diamond Aircraft, innovation is in our DNA. Whether you're taking to the skies for training or business travel, every aircraft in Diamond's lineup features innovative technology, an industry-leading safety record, superior performance and efficiency, and a comfortable flying experience. No other company has pioneered as many aviation firsts, achieved more milestones, or received the same amount of industry praise as Diamond. Discover why Diamond Aircraft is one of the most trusted manufacturers in aviation at diamondaircraft.com. Aviation Safety Resources is disrupting the market for aircraft emergency parachute recovery systems. ASR systems are smaller, lighter weight, and offer longer repack cycles than similar products available in the current market. ASR has a recovery system available for every type of aircraft. Sport, experimental, light sport, general aviation, urban air mobility, vertical takeoff and landing, electric propulsion, and unmanned aerial systems. Find the right product for your aircraft at AviationSafetyResources.com. The Zephyr is what you have always wanted. A highly capable two-seat turbine-powered helicopter with great ramp appeal, 100 mile per hour cruise speed, 172 nautical mile range, and to top it all off, a first of its kind emergency airframe parachute system, the Curdy Design Zephyr. Unique, advanced, innovative, and highly capable. Your ultimate freedom machine is available now at Zephyr.eu. Welcome back. This is our last top story of the show. Turkish Aerospace Industries has chosen the International Test Pilot School in Ontario, Canada for one of the biggest flight test training contracts in the school's history. Turkish Aerospace has a full roster of developing aircraft to test and evaluate, including the Herjet Advanced Jet Trainer Light Attack Craft, the Heavy Attack Helicopter, and the upcoming TFX Fighter. In order to bolster their ranks of qualified test pilots, TAI has inked a deal for a group of 10 students to attend the school, in addition to those already in training. With the selection, ITPS cements its place as a strong contender for test pilot training contracts for military-grade education. The addition of TAI students adds to the school's combat aircraft aviators, which is already home to a Korean aerospace industries team for the KF-21 Boromay fighter, as well as an Airbus defense team for their future combat aircraft system. With a wide 
wide-ranging fleet of various aircraft types and an expansive campus to serve as a base of operations, ITPS is on track to become one of the premier locations for manufacturers looking for a turnkey grow-your-own test pilot educator. That does it for our show today, your one-stop shop for all things flight training. I'm your host, Kimberly Kay. You can catch episodes of Airborne on Roku and Fire TV. Just search for Air News or Airborne in the directory, and don't forget to follow us on social media. Thanks for watching. <laughs>